Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how you can create iPhone mockups. The mockups that we will be creating are fully customizable. You can create flat variations, 3D variations, and even animate them. The first thing you want to do is go to preview.app, which is the website that we will be using in order to create these mockups. The page will be provided in the description. You can see already pre-made templates, a collection of them that you can choose from to start customizing the templates, or you can create a blank template and start from scratch. Now you have the option of selecting a 2D or a 3D blank template. The 2D templates are probably preferable when you need more geometric alignment, for example, flat mockups where you want to align the text, align the um, iPhones geometrically, whereas 3D is for mockups where you want to create something a bit more fancy or even animate them. I will be creating a 3D mockup and in order to do it I simply click on one of the templates that I like to load it. Once the template has loaded we can start customizing it. Everything is fully customizable. You can see in the options tab we can add extra devices, we can add text and so on. Uh, now the simplest way to render and create a mock-up, in this case it will be animated, is to replace the media that is already present with something that highlights our UI. Um, you can insert a video as well as image media. For example, let me type in uh, input the video and play the animation. We can see that there is a video playing inside an, an iPhone which can help us create animated uh, video mock-ups but it seems a bit more complex so what I will do is simply remove uh, everything as if I'm starting from scratch. In order to do that I select all the layers and I simply remove all of the checkpoints that they have by clicking uh, these buttons. For text I select the text layer and I delete it. Um, I continue this process for every single element that there is apart from the final element, which is the camera element, which is impossible to delete. Okay, now that we have the device, um, let me zoom out the timeline so that it's much easier to work with the mockup and make it slightly bigger. Okay, cool. Let's replace the mockup, put a screen placeholder with a standard image. Again, let's select a different one, okay. I like, I like it. Um, what we can do is move the iPhone uh, around our canvas to place it in any position that we like. Let's change the background to something, um, something lighter. In order to do this, navigate to the background tab and select the uh, different, different color. You can choose from linear backgrounds and uh, pre-made image backgrounds such as different gradients, uh, blurs and so on. I'll stick to the white for now and uh, click on the camera layer to zoom out a little bit. I want to add a little bit of shadowing so in order to do that I go to the plane, I add the plane and I align it uh, somewhere here so we can see the plane has appeared. Uh, so in order to align and put our iPhone onto the plane, the easiest thing to do is to click on the device tab and scroll down to align it to the plane. This drops the device onto the plane. Let me do this again because it wasn't very visual. First thing, I'll move the iPhone up and then align it to the plane. You can see it drops and creates a perfect shadow. Now what we want to do is to uh, place it probably... Um, Rotate, rot rotate the iPhone slightly. Let me tweak it. Um, okay, I think it would be aligning by X by 90 degrees. Yes. Um, once we got the iPhone in the position that we want, we align it to the plane, and um, and uh, what we can do is fix fix the angle to create to create a better. Um, better angle of the mock-up. Uh, for me, I like the following angle. I think this looks pretty nice and um, quite professional. So it's already ready to render pretty much. I can click on download button, the download button and export it as a short animation in case it's a video mock-up or we've added custom movement to the device or uh, WebM which 
simply supports transparency or the alpha channel and we can also download the PNG which is just a snapshot of what we're seeing right now that we can uh, export and use in our portfolios, landing pages and so on. Um, this is pre pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this was very useful for you and uh, taught you how you can create um, 3D mockups, 3D iPhone mockups with ease. Thank you for watching.